The purpose of higher education is to emancipate the human mind, is to fulfill the innate human need to understand ourselves, to understand the universe in which we live. Um, higher education also serves as the keystone in all struggles for social, economic, and environmental justice. Um, I hope um, we can better see how these things are absolutely paramount in um, ensuring the idea that I would like for us all to leave thinking about um, is the one that maybe most of us think about a lot, actually. Um, <laughs> that would be, how do we create change? Uh, specifically, is real meaningful change implemented from the top down, or does it emerge from the bottom up? Um, that is, do we wish, wish to live, study, and teach in a university that is engineered by some central power? Um, with motivations that are not necessarily in the best interest of education, but are oftentimes in the interest of making profit, um, and increasingly so. Um, or do we wish to live, study, and teach in a university in which the educational value of the institution emerges out of the interactions from inquisitive and informed minds? Um, that is also to beg the question, how do we create meaningful change in order to deal with the current problems faced by the higher education system? Um, do we leave it up to the mostly corporate controlled government? Do we leave it up to the administration who not necessarily always pays attention to the um, wishes of students and faculty? Um, or do we work to build a broad, decentralized, democratic movement from which radically different vision for how to govern a university might emerge? Um, well, I don't know the answer, but I think we might get a good idea if we consider the fact that in eight years of US military operations in Iraq, not even the full force and resources of the United States military can bring a functioning democracy to that country. At the same time, within the course of months, millions of workers, students, and young people of all stripes are rising up and overthrowing US-backed dictators all over the Middle East and North Africa. <clears throat> all extended analogies aside, uh, students <laughs> have always played a crucial role in bringing about serious social change. Students have been involved in the civil rights movement, the women's liberation, rights, uh, liberation movement, the LGBT liberation movement, the anti-Vietnam War movement, the environmental movement, so on and so forth. Students are always an important part of these movements. Um, in summary, the second big idea that I would like for us to all consider is how important are events like today? How important is it for students, staff, and faculty to discuss the complex problems faced by the higher education system? Is it reasonable for us to believe that we might begin to build a movement that demands education to be considered as a right, not as a privilege? Again, I don't know, but this is something that I think we should all be thinking about today.